Hi friends, and welcome back to another Raft Mod Showcase. Today, we're going over a Dynamite's Voyage mod. This mod is one of my all-time favorites, both for its functionality as well as how funny it can be given some insane options. It also increases game performance a little bit, which makes it worthy of a download regardless of the other stuff. This will be a relatively short and sweet showcase due to the straightforwardness of the mod, so without further ado, let's dive into our own voyage. Fundamentally, the Voyage mod changes the way propulsion works in Raft. In the base game, there are about four things that affect just how fast your little boat can move through the water. The first is wind direction. Going in the direction of the wind is faster than trying to move against it. This is the base movement of your raft that doesn't require any special effort by the player. For the base game, this sits comfortably at about 1.5 meters per second, regardless of the size of your raft. You can see that it fluctuates a little bit, but I'm going to try and use the average speed when comparing the speeds, just for some consistency. It's pretty slow, so there are other methods to get your boat moving a tiny bit faster, but those will come at a cost. The rest of these will either need to be crafted, used, or both. The second thing is paddles. Surprisingly, this oversized spoon has the biggest impact on direct movement speed, doubling the base speed of about 1.5 meters per second to about 3 meters per second. If you've ever watched me or anybody else speedrun raft, you'll notice an excessive amount of paddles used as soon as story locations are available. This is why. Even though radio tower speedruns end with more than 5 minutes of just straight paddling, it's significantly faster than hoping we float in that direction. The downside is you have to manually keep paddling, preventing you from doing more productive things with your time. Fortunately, that isn't true of the other two. The third thing is sales. Sadly, sales contribute far less to the group project than our snow shovel friends from earlier. The movement bonus provided by sales caps out at about 1.7 meters per second, just a whopping 0.2 meters per second bonus from floating. That's in the direction of the wind too. Granted, an additional 0.2 meters per second over the course of about 5 minutes certainly adds up, it's just not nearly as dramatic as a paddle. If we put these three factors together on the pillars raft design used in radio tower speedrunning, the top speed we achieve is about 4 meters per second with the wind, but only 1.4-ish meters against the wind, which shows just how drastically the base movement speed can affect how fast you go. But there's still one more movement option. The final thing in the base game is engines. These are by far the most expensive method of moving your raft, requiring both fuel and smelted resources to craft, but they increase the base movement speed up to 2.5 meters per second. Again, it's still not as good as the paddles, but they do help. In Tangaroa speedruns, we use a specific raft setup with about two engines, a sail, and lots of paddles to reach later story locations. If we combine all of the movement options listed above, we hit a top speed of about 4.5 to 5 meters per second. Like adding sails, this adds up over time, but I just wish the expense of these other options was made slightly more of a difference because it just doesn't make a whole lot of sense to have a big spoon make you go the fastest. And that's where the Voyage mod comes in. The Voyage mod doesn't add in any new options, it just changes the way the ones we already have work. Instead of having base raft speeds regardless of size, the Voyage mod not only counts for raft weight, but also the width in the direction of travel. This means that hydrodynamic rafts actually go faster and you can build your raft accordingly. Smaller rafts go faster than bigger ones. Without changing the starting raft, it already moves at 1.8 meters per second. 0.3 meters per second faster than the base game just due to its lesser weight and smaller size. That already moves faster than a sail does in the base game. There's also drag mechanics, meaning that weight and size of your raft affect how well it turns, but that I'll show off a little bit later. My absolute favorite thing about the Voyage mod is the sails. Just watch this. If we set a sail in the middle of a small raft in the direction of the wind, and there it goes. We're flying at 52 meters a second. That is 13 times faster than we could get with everything combined in the base game with just one sail. Oh yeah, in the base game, only one sail on your raft will make a difference. This is not the case in Voyage. The effects stack, meaning you can get some insane speed. So let's say we apply this concept to the same pillars design for radio tower speedrunning with a few extra sails. Given the extra weight and size of the pillar design, it moves a tiny bit slower than just the tiny raft, but it still moves at an appreciable 36-ish meters per second. Again, the absolute fastest we could go in the base game was about a maximum of 5 meters a second with ideal conditions. This does just a tiny bit better. And watching the islands fly by is kind of hilarious. Engines also got a little boost, so let's revisit the double engine design used in Tangaroa running. 
Engines each add about 15 meters per second, which is pretty good, but not nearly as fun as when we add a ton of sails onto that raft as well. This particular design caps out at about 110 meters per second, which is insanely fast. Turning is a little bit of a nightmare, as you would imagine with the drifting mechanics I mentioned earlier. Just be careful not to hit any islands and you'll be good to go. So that does it for the voyage mod for Raft. It's a simple and effective mod that makes the game much more enjoyable in such a basic way. I highly recommend just goofing around with it because trust me, there is no experience like drifting a raft at very high velocity. Anyways, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Please leave a like if you did and consider subscribing if you haven't already. And as always, have a great day.